Okay, so we are on select Y2. Now we're using this um, image to do a few things. We might use a selection to change out uh, the sky. Say if we want to replace the sky. If we want to make some adjustments to the coloring of the foreground or a specific item in our picture. So I'm going to go over a few new things and maybe just go over some other uses for some of the tools we've already used. Okay, so um, with this one, first and foremost, there's a new feature in Photoshop for the 2021 version. Uh, so it's new for this year. So say if I wanted to take my image, of course, I have to unlock my layer first always before I can really edit it. So say if I wanted to change out the sky. The sky looks pretty neat, but maybe I want to give it a, a more dynamic um, feel to it, and I want a different sky to replace it. There's many ways I could do it, but in Photoshop 2021, we have a new way of doing that. So I have my background layer, um, um, layer selected, and I'm going to go into Select and Sky. So we've done Select subject before. Um, let's go into select sky. Now the AI, the artificial intelligence of Photoshop is going to make a selection of that sky. Now this doesn't work 100% with every single picture, but if you have a distinction between your foreground and that sky and it's not, um, sometimes with trees it does get a little blurry and if the if your picture is pixelated and low res this may not work okay there's other tools that i'll show you to make selections that if that's the case but anyway um we have our sky selected and then i'm going to go into edit because i want to edit my sky so i can use my edit menu and go into sky replacement this is going to bring up a dialog box okay and i can go and click the different kinds of skies in here that are just in Photoshop's editing feature. So we have a few of them in here, so maybe I'm gonna change it. If I had another image of a sky, I'm sure I could put it in here, but we're not gonna get into that today. So I wanted to have a very um, sunset kind of appearance. So I can do some changes in here to make some adjustments. I'm not really gonna do too much, but you can play around in making it your own and then click okay. So you can see that it created a lot of new layers with us, for us in a group. Okay, so anyway, I could do that. And remember, Control D is a keyboard shortcut to delete. But say if I wanted to select everything else in here, I told you um, maybe in another video, I can go and select its inverse. So if I already have one thing selected, now I want the complete opposite. I can go to Select Inverse and get everything else. If not, Control D, I can do a different kind of a selection. So um, with my object selection tool clicked and I hold it down, I can get to my quick selection tool. Now there might be a reason why I need my quick selection tool. Um, it does help out sometimes, and then other times it's more of a hindrance. So we have lots of selection tools to choose from. These um, three here from the marquee to the lasso tools, and the quick selection tools. So it's kind of like paint brushing it. As long as your foreground is pretty good in focus and all that kind of stuff, sometimes if I get too much or too little, see how I got too much over here? I can click over here to on the top, subtract from selection, or I can click Alt as a keyboard shortcut. Or if I took too much and I wanted to add on to it, Shift, just like when we add on to our layers, or add on to different other types of selection tools. So it is kind of trial and error here. And of course, we can change with our bracket keys our size of our brush. Anyway, so I'm just going in here. I can obviously zoom in to get more precise. As you can see, it can get fairly accurate with it. Again, this might not be the best tool for you for your picture. But, you know, I just wanted you to see that is available to you. And sometimes there's a need for combining different selection tools. Okay. All right. So um, I'm going to select this. And I might add on to a few little areas here that are not selected. 
and kind of clean it up a little bit. So just go and shift, right? And then if it gets too much, then alt. Okay. So I'm just getting it in general. And then what I'm going to do with that background, and I'm going to create a adjustment layer. And I'm going to go into a curves adjustment with it. And I'm just going to play around with making it look a little darker. Because remember, if it's if it's sunset, you know, we want to make sure that we're making things a little darker on the ground because of the light, the sun is going down, so there is creating a little bit more shadows. So try to match the look of the sky and how it would cast on our, our subject, okay? So I'm just gonna zoom out and you can see with all my layers that have been created, I'm just gonna hide them to show you what the original was. Okay, so it's kind of like a, a before and after. One last thing to do in here, say if you want to um, get rid of I could see that there's maybe like a trash can or something over here. Let's see if we can do the, the lasso tool. So sometimes we get some oddball things in our pictures and we want to get rid of them. Remember, we can use the lasso tool. Of course, I'm very much zoomed in, so I can add on to it using my shift key. All right, just get it in general. Then I can go to edit or I can just right click here. I got to make sure I'm on my correct layer. Fill, and I'm going to try the content to wear fill and see how well it does. It may not do a good job. I don't know. We'll try it out. Okay. So it did decent. Okay. So let's zoom out and see if it's really noticeable from afar. I don't think it's that noticeable. I think it's better that it was, you know, that we kind of filled it in with that area. Okay. I think we did a great job. Okay. So now we have our finished scene. Again, if I see something else that's kind of catch my eye that I don't want there, I could do the same thing with that content to wear fill. And then it does a good job. All right, so now I have my finished piece and then we're good to go. Great, thank you.